Oh, hello. Welcome to another episode of CT Top Solutions. Today, what we're doing is buying our next project vehicle, 1989 Ram Charger. I'm super psyched. The idea is this will be our tow vehicle in the future. Uh, because I didn't have anything sufficient to tow right now, what we did was we rented a U-Haul truck and trailer. So that's not bad. Uh, you know, all said and done, I'll be able to tow everything up there real simple. Well, there we go, our journey has begun. But I tell you, this U-Haul truck, this drives beautifully. Corners like it's on rails, even with the old uh, family Jeepster in tow back there. But uh, we're, we have the cruise control set at a uh, mild 67, you know, not in any rush. About three hours, we'll be at our destination. We'll be able to drop the Jeep off, change the wheels out on the Ram Charger, load up the Ram Charger, and repeat. On the way, I'm going to stop at at least one of the service plazas on uh, Route 476. Not because I need to. Well, actually, I don't know. I might need to. We'll see how much gas this sucker uses. But because I love the pizza. I highly recommend it. Uh, the Allentown Service Plaza was a Pasta Famiglio pizza. Some of the best you could find on Route 476. There you guys can see some of the, uh, the beautiful Southern Jersey landscape. Ooh, right? Isn't that nice? Well, we're making good time. We've made it, uh, oh, I don't know, 20 miles, maybe less. And we're stuck in gridlock on Route 476. Everyone who knows the Philadelphia area knows this feel. I was hoping I would miss it. It is 109 on a Thursday afternoon, but uh, you know, I'm starting to wonder if there's ever a time of day that this is not gridlocked. Working our way up Route 476. We're getting close to the Allentown Service Plaza. I'm looking forward to that. And I'm kind of looking around this U-Haul truck and thinking about it. And what's everybody think about black ice? Black ice in cars, they just don't go well. Very slippery, dangerous, bad. Black ice, nobody likes black ice, right? Well, what do people think of with the smell of black ice? Huh? Huh? What do you think that's all about? I guess if you want to know what black ice smells like, go to your nearest auto parts store and buy the little trees, black ice. Uh, kind of weird. I don't know who came up with that. I guess the folks at Little Trees. What scent will they think of next? Now we're up here a little ways north of the Allentown Service Plaza. How would you like to live in those houses? We got a nice view of 476. I bet this is quiet all night long, right? Anyways, as we uh, chalk to our right just a little bit, take a look at this beautiful countryside up here, just north of the Allentown Service Plaza. Pretty cool. No, not the best view, we're going into a hill. You can kind of see the rolling hills. As soon as we get past this, you'll see them in a little bit. For those of my fans that are from the West Coast, or for example, Alaska, here's what Eastern Pennsylvania looks like. Wow, right? Well, that's it. Bought the Ram Charger, it's all loaded up. That was a real pain in the neck. We ended up having to change the, the wheels and tires. I rented those from LJ Wurst, the local junkyard up the road, and luckily Micah and his buddy were really cool and they helped grind out the front wheels. The front wheels didn't quite fit. You know, to clear this hub, you know, as the Ford wheel didn't quite clear that. So uh, luckily they had an air grinder and we just cleaned that all right up. But here it is on its way to Jersey. Should tow just fine with those tires. Those are 205s as opposed to the ones in the back of it that are 37 inch that uh, I think I gave myself a hernia putting them in the truck. Look at those houses up there in the mountains. That's beautiful, right? There's really nothing uh, too noteworthy about this section of 476, other than there's no traffic. It's a shame all of 476 wasn't like this. Check it out, they have harnessed the power of the wind. Oh, not all of the windmills have done it, but a couple of them have. Pretty cool, very scenic. On the way here, we didn't see this because it was behind us. Very scenic. Speaking of scenic, look at this over here. Look how nice that is. Oh, there it is, the Allen 
downtown service plaza mmm nice check out that the camper van that guy's got some nice style right there pretty cool god this guy in this dodge keeps tailgating me <laughs> Gassing up the U-Haul, it's not doing too bad, really. Made it the entire way up and we're halfway back, so I'd say it's gone 200 miles on this tank. We'll see how many gallons we put in. I'll let you know exactly what the gas mileage is once I find out how many gallons it takes. There's the Ram Charger, she's looking great. Now it dawned on me, it's Thirsty Thursday. You're new in town, you ask me where's the place to be, I present to you the Allentown Service Plaza right over there mmm good eats inside there plus they got a 7-eleven I wonder if they have a Ronaldo's Ronaldo's burrito we'll go in there in a few minutes and grab some uh, some pizza Wow world's slowest pump Dick CPAC huh never heard of those wheels I guess they're good Mud tires, mud wheels though. They're big, that's for sure. What's that line in Cannibal Run? If you're gonna be a bear, be a grizzly. <laughs> well, date night is ruined. Pasta Flamiglio, they close at six or seven at night anymore. I can't believe it. They said they're having staffing issues there. Uh, the entire Allentown Service Plaza was a three ring circus. So uh, I waited 20 minutes in line to get myself the dinner of champions. We got ourselves some Gatorade and some M&Ms. It's all right, we only have another 70 miles or so driving, so. On the road again. Da, 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 da. All right, we just got home with our U-Haul and our whole setup and fired up the Ram Charger, took it off the trailer. Everything was good, but uh-oh, leaking some antifreeze, so. I'm not sure what it is. I mean, this happens all the time. You buy something that's been kind of sitting for a little while and, you know, you just have to fix some stuff. Oh, there's some more. Huh. Well, that's actually a pretty good bit. It must be a hose. I don't know. Who knows? Whatever it is, we'll figure it out. Pull it into the shop. Rolled the wheels and tires in. Those things are awesome. I'm going to swap all the other wheels and tires back onto it tomorrow and I'll see. I'm going to talk to the guys that I, I rented these from, see if I can just buy them off them. So if I need to trailer this again in the future, I can. Uh, I tried to pop the hood. Hood pop's not working, so, you know, it's a project car. So it's got a few little odds and ends i got to take care of. There's a little bit of our antifreeze that kind of fell down. Uh, the interior, you know, the, I, there was some stuff that I knew was bad that needs to be addressed. For example, the, uh, the power window motor on this side doesn't work. And on the passenger side, it works, but it's pretty slow. I'm probably just gonna replace both of them. Uh, there's something going on with the turn signals where they're, they're both showing illuminated when they shouldn't be. So there, there's some electrical gremlins I need to go through, but look how beautiful this interior is. Like, let's not focus on the project aspect of this. Let's focus on the beauty here. You know, look what a nice job they did. I mean, this interior is just, just incredible. All right, for, the, for tonight, it's time to just simply return the U-Haul equipment, maybe grab a bite to eat. I'm hungry, I haven't eaten since my bag of M&Ms, which really didn't count. Oh, you almost lassoed the Ram. Yeah, that's close, <laughs> right? Yeah, Yeah, right? <laughs> it's gonna be harder to put back 
back on the road than I thought. Nah, you're fine. A little WD-40, it'll fix it. Whoa. Uh-oh. That's it for that. Uh-oh. All right, first spin with the Ram Charger. Things didn't go quite as expected, as you can tell. We've got the Lincoln set up to tow it back. Made it one and a half laps around the yard, and uh, it rides like a rock. Chevy Tough, right? Uh, the battery bounced right out of the battery tray and Chevy into... Tough, it's a Dodge. <laughs> battery bounced right out of the battery tray and into the power steering pump. And we lost our ground, which I think killed the ignition because now we've got no spark. So we're going to tow it back to the shop and I'm going to get to work on redoing the electrical system. But uh, man, even though it's broken down, doesn't that thing look awesome? Oh, we had to pull the grill out to go ahead and adjust the hood. So now the hood latch works good and alignment on the hood is spot on. Showroom. The last 10 feet of the marathon is always the hardest. Here, you guys can watch this in time lapse. Try the hood pop. Whoa, right? Whoa, check this out. And here's where our Optima fell into our power steering pulley. Well, things didn't exactly go ideal with the Ram Charger. Right now, it doesn't run anymore. I've got to figure out what's going on with the electrical system. And really, I'm not even gonna waste any time trying to troubleshoot and fix what's already there. I'm just gonna start over from scratch. I'm gonna end up getting rid of all this stuff and I'm gonna wire it the same way I did with the Lincoln and with the Cougar where I have like a keyed ignition terminal board, a battery positive terminal board, and a ground terminal board. And the uh, keyed ignition terminal board will be fed by a relay. And I'm gonna fuse everything, make sure it's all safe. And then I'll hook all the ignition stuff up as required from there. Uh, I'm guessing that I'll get working on that sometime this week. While I'm doing that, I'm also gonna work on replacing the radiator because there is a leak. I'm not sure if it's the radiator itself or if it's a hose, but that radiator looks kind of small for a big block and I'm gonna wanna be towing with this. So better to take care of that now before I get broken down on the side of the road someplace. Now, what is awesome with this is this interior. And let's resume our guided tour inside the Ram Charger. Look at this headliner, right? Isn't this beautiful? And the whole interior is just, you know, everything is just so nice. Well, except this floor mat right here. That's just there for protection. Look at the custom floor mat. Isn't that cool? All right, let's put the uh, protective mat right back over the custom one. Let's go to the other side and take a peek at this. Take a gander. Look at this. Look how nice it is in here. And you got the moon roof and everything. That all looks to be good to go. I don't know what the glitter is around the window, but I like it. You know, a couple little odds and ends missing, like the interior light right here, but that's no big deal. I'll, I'll find one, put it in, and fix all that stuff eventually. Look at these, the DZ steps, pretty cool. Look at this, the whole, everything is just beautifully custom upholstery. All right, let's head up. Let's see what we have inside here. Look how nice this is in here. I haven't even been in this back seat yet. But now that I'm here, I'm liking it. Pretty cool, right? So I'll, uh, I'll clean it up. We'll get to work on the electrical and hopefully we'll be able to drive this to Carlisle. The electrical and the cooling and I think I wanna do some work on the tune and the engine and the carburetor and that'll be awesome. So where do we leave off with the Ram Charger? It's out of commission. It is broken down right now. Something's going on with the electrical side of things. The ignition system has no juice, so no spark, no go, no problem. I'll fix it later. I'm gonna go through, I'm, I'll fix all the wiring the same way I did with the Lincoln, no big deal. Uh, and ultimately, we're gonna take this piece of history, this 1996 icon. I mean, look, look at these decals. That's definitely 1996. 
You don't see that anymore. And I don't know why. I, <laughs> why would anybody not put that on their car, right? Why does a brand new Dodge not come with the Wave? I, I bet Chrysler would not have gone out of business if brand new ones did come with the Wave. So lesson learned. You should sell brand new cars with Wave decals on them. You can expect to see a whole lot more of the Ram Charger on my channel as I go through and fix these systems. And hopefully I'll be bringing this to Carlisle. That should be a blast. I'll let you know what kind of gas mileage it gets. Anybody have any guesses? I, my guess is not towing. I'm going to say maybe 11. But uh, that's a big maybe. 409 rear gear in this. 410 front. Uh, Chrysler 9 and a quarter rear. Dana 44 front. I'm going to wrap up the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I had a lot of fun filming it. I will see you in the next episode.